<laughs> Boy, the oh, quill that lasts. <laughs> Fuck, hijack! Come on. Do it. Do it. No, you do it. All right, all right. I'll do it. God damn it. Boy, the quill that lasts a billion words. What's this? What are you doing here? <laughs> where the very stars come to die. Who are you, and where have you come from? Um, we are source hunters from the realm of Ravellin. Are you indeed? Then let me tell you, hunters of the source, that you have strayed afar, far from home, far in space and far in time. How, I wonder? Uh, all we did was, uh, all we did was to approach a strange stone. It shone with a blinding light, then whirled us away. I didn't see a stone. Did you see a stone? No, I didn't see a stone either. Huh. You're actually just bullshitting him. <laughs> uh, apparently. A stone, you say? Could it be? Could I have been right all along? This stone, what was it? Was it bright and beauteous as a diamond? But did it glow softly deep down in its heart? As if a soul dwelled within? Uh, I'd say that's a fairly accurate description. I guess. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Starstone, it must be. For centuries it slipped. This bounty of the heavens. But now it is <laughs> waking. <coughs> <laughs> but now it is waking and it has brought its awakeners here. All was dark and all was still. As it always has been and always will be, or so I thought, so I feared. But then the runes around me began to shimmer, shine, and dance like fair-winged fairies roused from slumber. This is hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Starstone could be the key after all. And you its wielder. <laughs> things, of <laughs> things of light to unlock, things of darkness lead us into realms forbidden. Where salvation may yet be found. God, I feel like the accent's changing constantly. No, it would be fine, great if you. It would be great if you started making sense right about now. I agree. Oh, well, I've been making sense all along, my friend. Thought I didn't even see it, though I didn't even see it. Oops. See, see. That is what you must do. Approach the looking lens, and behold, if you dare, the darkness before which even the cosmic shadows flee in terror. You know, I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. I through the looking we lens. better appease the imp? I don't feel like appeasing the imp, but you know what? I do want to walk through this fucking lens, though. This looks badass. I know, dude. It's huge. Let's do this. Oh, where's he Whoa. going? He's going. I'm looking in the lens. Oh. You must have... Let me check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, you just had the... Passage. Oh, did oh, wow. I activate this thing? What's going on? I think okay. so, yeah. What's over here? The Homestead Hall. Um, Dude, this place is fucking rad looking. It's pretty nice. I can go through his desk. Oh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> um, well, I guess we can... Let's talk to this guy some more. Alright. Since you're a professional with this guy, it's, it's on you. Fuck. Here. I wish I just would have used my voice. <laughs> it's too late now. <clears throat> you looked through the looking lanes. You saw. Terrifying, isn't it? I didn't really see too much of anything. No, it wasn't really terrifying. It was kind no. of blinding. Yeah, yeah. It was weird. So much to see, so much to discover, and so little time to do it in. I'm I mean, not a child try. imp. The dark doesn't scare me. What were we going to say? I was gonna say maybe you still can look through it. I I did. Oh, you didn't see anything. No. I mean, I saw something. I mean, it wasn't terrifying. It was just like some abstract shit. Yeah, there was nothing special. Oh, how brave you are! How bold and haughty! Too bad it won't help you even a little bit when the seemingly inevitable comes to swallow you whole. This maw of darkness it consumes time itself. <laughs> I feel like maybe he shouldn't talk like that because he's an imp. He should have a different voice, but it's too late now. Well, I've, I've I mean, fucking... well, no, you could change it. You, I mean, no, you can I give can't. him a southern drawl. I'm... <laughs> I, I'm even worse at that, if you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Starstone Starter. You have just witnessed the end of all. The maelstrom that, like a carrion eater, devouring the carcass of creation. Space and time have lost all meaning, for they are falling prey to the void. And in the void, there is no existence. A bleak prospect. Ah, a bleak prospect indeed. 
and yet you do not seem to despair. I did despair for the longest times I did. Aeons upon aeons I have traveled through the reaches of time, through the rifts that lead to worlds unimaginable, hoping to find something, anything, that could put a stop to the maelstrom. That is how I found this place, and I knew that it was here that the answer must be hidden. It teems with mystery undiscovered, with power that is limitless, yet out of reach, until you came along, the ones who can tame Starstone. You have drowned my despair, you whom I believe can end the end of time. Um, you think we can stop the end of time? Apparently he does, this since we started up the fucking stone. fucking insane. Well, we did go in there and, like, start some shit, start some weird shit happened. I'm sure somebody yeah, well, else went in yeah, there and it didn't. Yeah, we, ki we killed some orcs. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, let's, let's see. We killed Rajaquin. Rajaquin, yeah. We re-killed him, I should say. <laughs> re-killed him, yeah. I think it is time you tell me who you are, Sir Imp. But of course, I'm Zigzax, the Imp Historian. Tasked by the gods to write the history of all creation. Faithfully, I have fulfilled my task and would have done so perpetually until one day I saw the end of time, er, I saw that time will end. <clears throat> Impossible, I thought, inconceivable, for the gods had told me that their work was infinite both in date and distance, but my eyes did not deceive me when Maelstrom I had beheld. Time would end, I would end, all would end. He's, he's no, I cried, never. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, he's gone Australian. I know, man, I can't, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> It don't matter. Keep it going. <laughs> oh, I shall save time if it's the last thing I do. So far my efforts have been in vain, but you, as the saying goes, are the hope that sp springs eternal. Um, Alright, Starstones, the end of time, us source hunters. How about you connect the dots for me? Uh, to claim I can piece the puzzle together would, at this stage, be premature and ins insincere, but let me summarize the facts as, I have cle ah, as clearly as I can see them. Here we are, in fragmented sliver of space, which happens to be the only spot in all the universe where one may directly observe the void maelstrom. A portal flanks... A portal... F fuck me in the dick. A portal flanks the looking lens, but until now it was in it. St the rune stones that adorn it are special, which would lead me to le believe they were somehow linked to a star stone. Star stone, though, always remained as useless as a pebble. Dead rock of no consequence. Its secrets remained off limits to me. Fucking shit, man. He talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, however, make the souls inside the st star stone spring to life, and thereby are activating portals to new, previously forbidden areas in this strange dimension. I do not, wor I do not know where they lead but I'm convinced they will steer toward a solution uh, to the continuance of time. I'll take my leave. Splendid <laughs> idea. Later we can talk till the cows come home. But right now, we should investigate the portal. Where, oh, where, oh, where does it lead, I wonder. Fuck. You first, but don't I think All it right, goes so to Homestead we... Hall. Yeah, it says to the Homestead Hall. So let's go. Alright, I guess that was a... Oh, oh where the fuck... Okay, I guess it's not right. We? we are not on the world at all. Huh. The fuck? Shit, we can search. Mug of beer. Ooh. Might have to give that to you. <laughs> This is kind of cool. I like this place. Yeah, it's neat. Got golden gods and beer. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a chick here. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I guess I'll read Zerzak Zigzags now. Oh, I can. I can. I'll do it. Okay. I can't talk to him though. All right, never mind. <laughs> I've tried every imaginable tongue, from dwarf gear to lizardese, but this woman simply won't budge. Perhaps she doesn't like the look of a refined, impish face like mine. Perhaps she'll have a bit of luck, but please report back to what you find, Saw Santa. She's so much better at that than I am, man. 
All right, well, you should do I'll all the reading. To... No. <laughs> That's too much work. <laughs> okay, I'm now the weaver of time. <clears throat> a young woman is ceaselessly weaving a seemingly boundless tapestry with the delicate grace of a harpist plucking at her instrument strings. She takes no notice of anything but her endless occupation. Who are you, madam? At first, it seems this taciturn woman will continue to ignore your presence, but then she suddenly glances at you with her eyes go wide with surprise and wonder. Continue. Her lips move ever so slightly, and when she speaks, her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance, whispers wrestled from oblivion. I am time the weaver of time in the ethereal threads of eternity do I record the deeds of gods and men of beasts and spectral apparitions the drift of continents through changing seas the rise and fall of empires the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands, this all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you. Do you mean to tell me that I'm not at all featured on the canvas of time? I do not mean to, but it's the only thing I can do. You're absent. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection, a blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone and time can be redeemed. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I'm not even part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. That's a strange way of talking. Continue. Know then that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the precipice of ages and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you, you who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they placed new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerge as I began to weave anew. Star stone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give star stone engine energy, you are creating time. These star stones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so the void may yet devour itself alone. Hmm. So my choices are either I have many questions for you or I'll take my leave. I guess I'll go with the many questions. There are many questions I have for you. Ask and I shall answer if I can. Okay. Um. Why do you talk to me but not the imp historian? I do not usually talk. Come to think of it, when I addressed you, it was the first time my voice was ever invoked. Damn, almost stood. Wow. <laughs> I have no need of conversation like I have no need of... 
of air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time, and time is running out, unless you remedy its declivity. Oh, excellent use of declivity. <laughs> you I talk to, for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. Why is Starstone so important, and why does it react to me and my colleague alone? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry as yet. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutable inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. Star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only, no. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. You called this place the precipice of ages. Is that what it is? No more? No less? I don't think I would ask that, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. That in itself is a lot. I more than most realms can claim. But no, the precipice of ages is not the be-all and end-all of this curious plane. What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that it was the star stones will tell. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. I resided in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these dark, deep dark skies, I materialized here as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable, a thankless task they may yet be, that you may yet free me from forever. And uh, who are you really? I am the weaver of time, as I have told you, though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb to be. Well, I appreciate the fact that you are into English grammar. I am but what I am, and that is task. It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same, task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. I am the beginning and am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. I'll take my leave. The plot thickens. We should tell the imp the weaver's tale. Go ahead. Talk to the imp. Tell the imp the weaver's tale. All Fuck. of it. Every last bit of it. 